Hi, this is Cool Hand Mike. In this video, we're going to be exploring Lua a little bit. Lua is a programming language that's mainly used for scripting, and BizHawk uses it. So we're just going to jump right in here, though, and avoid a lot of the technical details. So if you go to Tools and select Lua Console, the Lua Console will appear. You can click the new Lua script, and a prompt will come up that will want to save a new script for you. I'm going to name it test and it appears with the most basic script you can have. It just advances the frames and I'm going to show you the most basic function that you can do. A hello world message that will print out to the console. So here, if you want to start the script, you can double click it. You could also toggle it on and off. Or if you make a change, you can also press the refresh button just to make sure you know all your options. And if you right click it, you can clear all these excess messages. I'm going to refresh it and you see the hello world. But that's not terribly interesting, so let's move on. We're, we're going to try writing to the actual window here with Mega Man. And to do that, we will be using the GUI.draw text draw text function. We're going to write it to the leftmost part of the screen with 0 and 30 pixels down. And we're going to write the message, hello world. And save it and refresh. As you can see, there is a hello world there. Now let's get Mega Man's health, just so you can get see something related to the game and how to actually get values from it. We are going to use the main memory dot read byte. And I know that Mega Man's health is at 060. C0, and I'm going to save that and do a test. Okay, so no errors. This by itself will not save any value. So if you want to save it, you need to put it into a variable. So we are going to make a variable named health. And test that normal process of uh, making a script is to constantly be saving and testing. So you'll see me do that a lot. So now that we have the health, let's print that out instead of hello world. I'm going to move this over here and we are going to replace the hello world with the variable for health. So instead of hello world, it should be the health that appears. Yep. So right now, Mega Man has 26 health. He's getting hit by these enemies. So you know what? We're going to comment out the hello world for the console because that can slow things down. You can comment out by using these two dashes on the same line before uh, whatever function or whatever you're using. And this I'm going to move out to a variable up top here. Since it is pointing to an address, I'm going to use the p underscore health here. 
then replace that address. And also clean this up here. I'll just remove that. So now we have it's doing the same thing here. Let's test again. Refresh. Oh, it's doing the hello world. Clear that. Save. Oh, okay. All right, no errors. Now let's make. Mega Man Invincible. So we have his health. And but in order to make him invincible, we're gonna have to write. So we are gonna use main memory dot write byte. And we need to write to the health address. So we're gonna be using his health address. And his full health was 28. So now if I write this, every time, every frame, it's gonna go through here and gonna make sure that his health is 28. So save and refresh. And I'm gonna advance a frame. And his health is 28. So as you can see, he's getting smacked, but his health is always 28. So that's a way you can read and then write to memory. But let's make this a little cleaner. So we don't necessarily need to have a local variable declared every single frame. So I'm going to move that over here. Initialize that to zero. And we're going to make a function. We're going to move a lot of this out. All right. So if you go local function keep max health. And we are going to move that over there. And let's see. All right, comment that out. We do not need to display the health at the moment because we know that that works. And in order to have the function be called, you need to call it over in the main loop. So this should work. Let's refresh and advance. OK. But you know, let's we don't want to write every single frame for his help. Let's let's do a little test here. So that if his health decreases, like once he gets hit, then we can set his health to 28. And to do that, we're going to use a condition. If main memory dot read byte for his health is less than 28, then we want to write it. Let's save that and see how that works. Okay. So as you can see, every time his health is decreasing, like when he gets hit, it just writes 28 back to the address where his health is and his health remains at 28. So you have this you have this cheat script essentially. So we're going to name this Mega Man 2 up here just to make sure that you know what this is at a later point and 
whoever else may want to look at this. Max cheat, Lua scripting example. And I'm going to save this. And then you have a script here that you can use at a later point if you wish to. You can remove this too. And we do not need the health variable anymore, so we can remove that as well. So now you have a pretty clean looking script that all it does is it calls this function that keeps Mega Man's max health. And uh, that, that would be a beginning type Lua script. And thank you for watching.